guys, today we're here to finalise this video of this car. We're going to put it on the dyno. We're going to talk to you about what we've done in the engine, why it's taken so long, some exciting turbo bits and pieces and upgrades, and what we're going to move to in the future to get this thing moving along properly. So, hope you guys enjoy and thanks again for your patience. Let's go. But as you can see, I've got a, an engine out of the car again and I've got a pair of turbos sitting on this bench here. So I'm gonna run through and show you what we're doing with these guys and this, and why it's taken so long to get this guy running again. But um, the video is gonna show you all about it and we'll do our best to explain what we've done so far. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for your patience, guys, and hopefully you enjoy this video. So just to show you guys, here's a couple of turbos on the bench. And this one's from an N24 cylinder. This one's from an N55 six cylinder. And while the engine's out, we're going to do a turbo upgrade. We did have the high flow version in the earlier videos, um, trying to chase a little bit more power. Unfortunately, it was a little bit underwhelming. So the customers decided to throw a little bit more money at it and put a late model N55 turbo on the engine. But to do that, we've got to cut the manifolds apart and graft the core onto this manifold. But they have pretty different shapes. You can see this is quite long and oval in design, whereas the N55 one is quite round. The N55 turbo was found in the late E-series chassis and moved over into the newer F-series. The difference being that the F-series turbos were an electronic wastegate unit and they had bigger compressor housings and bigger exhaust wheels. This made the turbo a great candidate for a high flow upgrade, especially when moved onto a smaller four cylinder two liter engine. To allow the N55 turbo to work with our setup, we needed to cut the four cylinder exhaust manifold off the turbo and adapt it to the N55 core. There are two internal pipes, which are designed to allow for fast spool due to the twin scroll design of these turbos. This will allow the turbo to come on boost fast and efficiently. Once the manifold's been grafted internally, we then need to add back all the heat shielding and secondary structure back to the exhaust manifold to the turbo. Now that we have higher boosts sorted out for this computer, we thought that we would upgrade the liners of this engine to a flange liner design, which is a lot more robust to avoid the walls moving around with the parallel liner design that we initially had. So we've got Cal who's been working on this turbo and it's now fitted to the engine. As you can see here, it's got a nice modified four cylinder exhaust manifold adapted to an N55 turbo. It's a bit hard to tell the difference in comparison now, but we've made it fit. It was very, very tight. Had to do some custom lines and reposition things. So over here at the water pump, because the turbo now sits a bit further forward, we had to relocate the water pump and make up a special bracket over there at the bottom and one on the top over there. And that ultimately brought it forward enough to give us that clearance we needed. Other than that, we've got the GFB spacer for the diverter valve. That's been installed and all clearing nicely. All the coolant lines needed to be changed and adapted to fit now the new uh, setup. Oil drain, oil feed needed to be modified to fit. We are using the N20 diverter valve and the N20 um, actuator as well. All that just mates up nicely with the N55 rear housing. All right, mate, well, um, yeah, thanks for running through that. We'll get this thing into the car and you've got a bit of work to do today. So we'll show a little bit of video of this going in and hopefully we can get it over to the dyno and see what new power figures this thing will get.
Uh, what have we got here, Cal? So See. that's our bracket to hold the air intake pipe on. Yeah. Just secure it in place. Okay, so that's so that guy will slip in. Just gotta make sure our orientation is correct. Close enough. And We'll talk about the specs of the car and briefly why we had the delays and then we'll move into the tuning side and um, I'll quickly introduce um, Harry here. Hey, I'm Harry. And, and, uh, sorry. Sorry, I was going to say, I'm Harry from Navadi Tuned and this is Ken. Yep, and yeah, Ken's the owner of the Ken. car. That's, this is my baby and yeah, looking, looking for some good results today, yeah. Obviously F30328i, we all know that. It's got the N20 engine in it, which is a two litre. Uh, the things that we've done is we've the latest revision is we've put flange liners in. This is one of the points that, uh, of the reason for the delay. We had parallel liners, we've gone to flanged. We think it's a little bit more robust and will suit the application for other things that we've decided to change, which are bigger N55 turbo conversion, which is the EWG from the F-Series. So it's the large N55 turbo. And the other thing that we've developed in that time that you've been waiting is the custom tune. Because it's not an off-the-shelf tune and it's fully customised, we're continuing to develop this all the time. Uh, we've overcome boost limits, uh, torque limits and things like that. So, forged rods, forged pistons, we've got a catted downpipe, which should be sufficient for the power that we're looking to make with this setup. Stock exhaust at the moment. This is looking to get upgraded later, but first we just want to finish ironing out bugs and improve the application that we have. Um, and finally, it's just a stock fuel system at the moment on pump 98 RON. And for the US um, viewers, that's 98 octane. So we'll probably move to an E85 tune later and, and the guys will mention the upgrades required and things for that a bit later on in the video. So if we move over to here, just some real basic stats of the N20. Normally they make about 180 kilowatts stock engine stock set up at the crank. That's not at the wheels. The first run that we've had for this car that we've seen here is 185 kilowatts at the wheels and that was at a stage two off the shelf tune by boot mod. Um, after that we added the high flow turbo which was in the early video that we saw it was just a high flow N20 stock setup on a stage one tune and saw around 200 and today 
this is what we're going to see. So, I don't know, um, we're going to have a bit of a bet on this one. Harry, what do you reckon we're going to see? 275 kilowatts at the rear wheels. Okay, that, that's optimistic, but yeah, we'll see. And Ken? I think I'm going to go a little conservative and maybe about 240, 250. Okay, well, look, I'm just going to go in the middle, 260. So <laughs> I'll write these down real quick and we'll do some runs and um, we'll see what we come up with. Oh, that was that was Harry, 275, yeah. and I was 260. I thought I'd sort of take this opportunity just to explain some of the mods that we have used and some that we haven't. Um, I guess as part of my project on this build is to obviously have a, a daily driver that I can still use 98 um, Ron um, and, and just so that I can go town cruising and all those sorts of things, but then also have that on tap power um, over this sort of um, OTS stage two, 22 pounds of boost. Um, so I guess as a first revision, um, motor is obviously built, but um, what we're doing is we're sticking with a, uh, the stock exhaust system, high pressure fuel pump, low pressure fuel pump are all stock as well. There's ignition coils are all standard. Um, these, these motors do run the step colder spark plugs anyway uh, from factory. So yeah, I guess, it's it's here for a daily driver, but to see what we can do with it, and then I guess you know with with Harry, um, we're looking at adding some further things down the line as we fine tweak um, this build and this tune. So with regards to where we're going to go in the future with this car, uh, we can't run fully 85 at the moment. Not until we get a spool high pressure fuel pump upgrade, um, probably along the lines of an FX 150, and that should give us a nice 15 to 20 percent bump in power. Then with the aftermarket exhaust, upgraded coil packs, you know, maybe even go stage one turbo and then maybe look at a, a nice new intake setup and some uh, additional things like an oil cooler and transmission cooler and baffled oil sump for track days. We can really uh, kind of set the, the stage for what this car could be in the future. So with the fresh oil nicely warmed up, we start to lay out a few dyno runs. After the first few, we can start to see where our initial tune and calibration is at, and we're pretty happy to start giving this thing full power up to about 6,000 revs. With Harry collecting a bit of data from the logs as I've laid out a few more runs, we can start to see that the car responds well to boost nice and early. With the N55 turbo showing good results, flowing well and making boost early, we start to take this thing up to around 7,000 revs, and we lay out a good run that we're happy with. So here we are guys, we've got a result. Um, it looks like Ken's won this one. He's, he's gone between 240-250 and we've hit 246 today, uh, which is about the cleanest and best we can get it to behave with our current fuel system. So I'm gonna pass you over to Harry now and he's gonna explain a couple of probably near future upgrades that we're gonna move to to get this thing into more of its potential. Yeah, so today we hit a snag at 5,000 RPM. The high pressure fuel pump just completely dips as it can't handle the airflow the turbo is supplying. Um, so that means we'll have to come back with an upgraded fuel pump like a spool FX 150 or even port injection, depending on what we want to spend. Uh, and that should get us hopefully in the 260 kilowatt range with uh, 98 RON and then uh, E85, probably 300, but that's a guess. I guess we'll have to find that out for for real. All right, well, there we go, guys. So, um, dyno run complete, good result, and I'm sure we'll see this thing again in the near future. Thanks for your patience again, and um, hope this build has inspired you guys to do the same with yours. Reach out if you need any help. Cheers.